Welcome back. So last time you may remember that I said all the materials had showed up for uh, the rudder pedals and so this is some of it there. All different um, bits of aluminum and uh, 4130 uh, chromoly steel. So first thing up is to uh, cut these pieces here into the main um, braces. So I've cut those and now I've got to drill the different holes and cut the different notches that need to be in there so they uh, sit in place. And this is a little bit way through, sort of cutting the larger holes and larger openings. Uh, there's a square bit um, or rectangular bit that fits in that slot that you'll see in a bit. And that one there I again cut with a 3 uh, inch mill. And meanwhile here's Jeff in the process of laying up um, the, the left side of those um, door receivers for the hook locks. And the right side are already done there and they've had the peel ply taken off so they're just curing up a little bit more. And this is how they look when he was all finished there. So he's put peel ply on top of that. And it was quite a few plies that went down there. It ended up being, um, or you know, we were going for a quarter of an inch thick um, to have the pins to support the hooks. And back on um, the stuff for the rudder pedals here is one of those brackets there. That's actually the cross bracket there. And um, I'm cutting or just drilling different holes there. And so here's kind of like as it starts to come together, these are the two left and right main um, sort of braces with a cross brace that's been sort of slotted out so they can slot together and that'll be welded together um, so it's you know much much more rigid than just sort of sitting it or bolting it together and you recall that Zach is out uh, this week and the first two days of next week so here Jeff um, and Devin have been working on uh, laying up the mold for this one it's the other um, side of the lower elevator skin And now you can see I've also cut the 4130 tube there that's the main tube that the um, that the rudder pedal hangers sort of live on and put the bolts through there just to fit those into place. So things are again uh, progressing. And now I'm making these spacers for where the bell crank, the main bell crank for each uh, rudder pedal lives and it's just a two inch by one inch um, sort of offset spacer and just drilling it through uh, with a quarter inch bit there. And uh, as you can see, just drop a bit of oil on there just so it uh, doesn't get too hot when it's drilling through the aluminum there. It keeps my, uh, my drill bit nice and sharp. And I'm just uh, turning it by hand right now in terms of adjusting the height just to bring it down. So I dial in the machine and tell it exactly the X and Y to go to and then I manually uh, operate the Z so I can bring it at whatever speed that I want and stop it wherever I want. It just makes it easier that way. And Jeff and Devon finished off that mold, so there it is with the peel ply on it. So um, that's just the first layer that still needs the um, heavy weight on it, but that'll be um, that was actually today's uh, Tuesday that you'll see shortly. And here's the um, mold now for the last part of the lower cowling, and it's been released um, from the plug, and that just needs to be trimmed off around the outside. And obviously, it already had the bracing and stuff uh, put on last week. And now we're on to Tuesday uh, today and uh, here's the guy's got the um, heavy weight layers put down on this mold. So that one is just going to get a little bit of bracing around there kind of like the other ones did and then that'll be done. And these are the arms for the bell crank that go to the main rudder control. And uh, this is the part that sort of mates up with that. They sort of form uh, a T. And so I'm here I'm just cutting a notch in there because I needed uh, a little bit more room to make them fit. Uh, anyway, uh, here's that uh, mold now for the lower cowling and uh, Devon uh, trimmed and sanded the edge of that um, this afternoon. So that one's looking all nice and he's actually started waxing it already. So uh, that one's almost ready to lay up then. And back over here, so I'm just doing a little bit more work on um, these things. So this is um, cutting out the notches in the bell crank so there's room for um, the rod end to move um, left and right when the bell crank is sort of rotating uh, otherwise it'd be basically bumping into itself but you'll see that uh, a little bit later once everything comes together you see what I'm talking about and I mentioned last week that we're ready to put the roof braces in place now so here Jeff has got the first one um, bonded in with a high sole and he's just putting uh, some rivets in there to pull it in really nice and tight uh, to the roof skin and you can see there there's a little bit of um, sort of plastic tube going through that and that's for 
like a mini conduit for um, the wires that are going to run for the overhead lighting. And you saw this last week, but this is the other side of the back tank wall, at least one of them with some fittings in there. And now Jeff's got the rear um, roof brace put in place as well. And you can see that one also has a little conduit in there. Um, so that's been bonded in as well. So making more progress inside the fuselage, which is always good. And here's what it looks like with these um, the right-hand side rudder pedal um, upper sort of bracket sort of just test fitted into place. And you can see how it sort of mates up over that L channel that um, helps with the dash. And then there'll be some um, brackets there and some fasteners to hold it to uh, the forward bulkhead right now. It's just sort of sitting there. Um, but it's sort of coming along nicely. And these are those door hook receiver layups. And Jeff has just rough cut a couple of them there. And they still need to be cut back about another half inch or more. But you get kind of the idea of how that's going to look. And if you're looking carefully there, you can see with the stainless steel um, plates there that they also have the stainless um, Allen head screws holding them in place and this is the one from the other side so he's already gone and cut that this afternoon it didn't take long for that one to set up um, so those are looking good they still as I said still need to be cut back more and cleaned up and rounded off and whatever but you get the idea that's basically where the hook's going to live and you can see the those stainless steel fasteners holding the the uh, strike plates there so uh, more progress here uh, these are the left and right side upper brackets now nearly all completed at least those parts and these are the two um, the pieces that make up the two different bell cranks, one for each side. And as I was saying, they sort of form a T like that, and they'll be welded together. And the various uh, different um, rods will connect to that, and you know, two rods connecting to the pedals, and then one rod going across to the main actuator. And so the next thing was uh, for me to do was to start cutting um, the C channel here, which makes up the actual hangers for um, that hang the actual pedals on them and so I made quite a bit of progress that in the last hour of, of the day and I uh, still got more to do um, but by sometime tomorrow I should have all those cut and be working on uh, getting the particular holes and um, cutouts and stuff drilled on those so good progress on the rudder pedals and by the end of the week um, I think you're going to see uh, quite a lot of progress um, completed on that anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching